Welcome to the podcast that talks about online dating and relationship advice. Is the grass really greener on the other side? We will find out. Eventually, we'll cover why we think we have to settle when in a relationship. We will also discover how to really come together to find the love and loving relationship you deserve to be in. In this episode, we're going to talk about online dating profiles. We also cover what are the do's and don'ts to get what we all want. Online dating can be overwhelming. Online dating is not all bad, and this form is not meant to discourage you to try online dating. We also cover bad dates. If you're offended easily, then this podcast is not for you. There will be language and sexual content involved. I'd like to introduce you to Lisa, who has a career in the porn industry, and in my opinion, has a different view of how men are when having an online profile. Now together, in our lifetime, there were a lot of positive relationships made from this process of dating online. You do understand it is more entertaining to talk about the failures in order to uh, learn from it. So from the listeners, um, I'd kind of like to describe what Lisa looks like. So Lisa is tall. Like, how tall are you? 5'5". 5'5"? Yeah. You seem way taller than that. Okay. I'll take it. (laughs) (laughs) And um, you have long blonde hair. Would you say it's like down to the middle of your back? Easily. Uh Uh-huh. Absolutely. Okay. And it's almost like you have light gray eyes. Mm -hmm. Is that... Or is that blue-green, you said? I'd say probably blue-green, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. And what do you look like? I don't know. I look like a... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was going to say something really bad. <laughs> but, no, I think I'm average. Um, oh, I'd say you're above average. I don't know. I mean, I, I still fit in the same jeans I did in high school. I'm, I'm still pretty fit. Mm-hmm. Um, That's black, something. Black hair, black eyes. Black hair, black eyes. Good looking. For sure. Uh, Uh, Don't be modest. (laughs) Yeah. Whatever. Don't. So. So. A email came in from from an interested person. Okay. And they asked me a question. They go, well, what do you put in your subject line in the profile? Mm. I I know, you know, a lot of the websites, um, a typical picture, a close-up of the face. Uh Uh-huh. But... What I've seen, I've seen, I've seen a lot of profiles that have landscapes and no picture, or I've seen a lot of pictures <laughs> with. What do you mean by landscapes? Um, it it's a landscape of the mountains. It's like why would oh, okay. you do that as as okay. your first page? I don't know if you've seen that <laughs> at all. Yes, I have seen that. Absolutely. Really? Yeah. It's all it's baffling. Yes, I have seen that. Absolutely. Now, if they have multiple pictures, do you see like the guy's face eventually, or they you don't see anything? No, typically I would say there'd be at least a photo of a face, but a lot of I've noticed a lot of the pictures are super blurry, which makes no sense to me. You're what, are you using a camera phone from like 1997? Makes no sense. Um, I don't think they had camera phones in 1997. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Whatever. Um, so yeah, I get the landscape. I get the, a lot of fish, a lot of holding fish pictures, which is evidently a thing. Well, see, no, I've <laughs> discovered this too. Like. Uh, a lot of women say they don't like uh, men holding fish, but equally there are women that are holding fish too, so <laughs> they can actually get together. So you, you can't you can't really get offended because that's his hobby, and he's showing you this is his hobby. I like somebody who has the same interest. Right, that's valid, but it's t- to me it's not sexy. So I'm just speaking my opinion. It does it, nothing for me. Would it be more sexy if he's tongue in the fish? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I, I mean, I get it. It's yeah. just, I mean, the whole idea is just to get people to come together with this, the same passions that they have. Yeah. They were trying to attract attention in some capacity. Right. So why why would you be offended on just the fish picture? Maybe you're just not interested and you I, just swipe the yeah, other way. No, I'm just not. I, I don't really know that I can articulate why I, I don't like it. I just think it's tacky, maybe. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, I guess I mean, it's, it's it could too. be. It seems kind of cruel too. <laughs> so it's a whole other thing. But yeah, I'm just not into it. Not a fan. Yeah, Keep it moving. 
heck? What? <laughs> Keep it moving. Keep it moving. <laughs> Not you. I'm talking about the fish. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm like, what? The guy with the fish. Keep it moving. Okay, so the other pictures that, that annoy me are pictures with a group of people. Oh, my, and you have no idea who, who you're yeah, looking at. Yeah, it's like, who, uh, who am I looking at? Who am I... It's a guessing game. Where's Waldo? I get that a lot. That's a, And I'm, like, literally going through the pictures, like, okay, it might be this guy, but then there's, like, maybe two guys that are the same in two different pictures. Or, you know what I mean, like, friends or something. Right. Well, those people who don't know uh, what Where's Waldo is, uh, it used to be a game, and there's a, a guy in glasses in a striped white and red shirt, and he's in the middle somewhere in millions and millions of people, and you have to try to find him and pick it out, and that used to be a game, and that's kind of what we're referring to. So, so we're actually <laughs> describing Where's Waldo? People don't know who that is? This yeah. Is, that's possible? I mean, yeah, people that are, um, what, 18, 19, 20, um, they've probably never seen that game before. Oh, okay. That's valid. Just needed some clarification. Oh, the other things that irritate me are, you know, I, I see um, in the subject line of some women, they don't like men that uh, they assume uh, Photoshop their photos. Right. And women do the same thing. I don't know if they realize it. We have the same exact problem where, you know, you put on... Um, I think the phone app has like little bunny ears and giant eyes. And I know you don't yeah. look like that. Well, m maybe I do. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's like, why would you, I don't know. How are you supposed to get a basis of a, what a, the person actually looks like if they have like a, such a heavily filtered photograph? Well, the, the bigger picture is they're complaining about something. They don't realize it's happening to us as well. Right. Okay. So there, there's no sympathy. And it's like if you're if you're complaining off right off the bat, mm -hmm. is that how you're going to be in a relationship? Right, negativity. Is, is that is that what you put in your profile? Negativity. So wait a minute, you're saying to me that guys, women bitch about men using filters? Yeah. Okay, that's surprising to me because I've never come across that. Guys will bitch about the filters, but I've never seen that. I don't think I've ever seen that. Terrible pictures, yeah. Blurry, yeah. But I don't think I've ever seen that. That's interesting. Yeah, like some some girl that um, I met for the first time, mm -hmm. she goes, do you use filters? And I'm like, no. And I show them my, my flip phone, and <laughs> there's no filter button on this thing. Oh, Lord. It's not really a fil uh, flip phone, okay. but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes. It's like this particular version doesn't have that option to take out the wrinkles. Mm. And I'm like, you know, I don't, do I have wrinkles? No, I don't see any okay. wrinkles. <laughs> like, okay, I was just... But um, perhaps they just think that you're too good looking at camp. It's too good to be true. Yeah, That's a positive spin on it. Right. I mean, it is positive. I mean, it's you don't really want to have to defend yourself and say, well, I'm not a liar. Right. But there <laughs> it's almost like every woman is jaded. Mm. I mean, I don't want to say every woman, but it almost seems like the profiles that I read, the subjects that I read, it's mm -hmm. like. Um, I don't want somebody that doesn't have a car, that's living with their mother, that, you know, I see profiles that are written like that, mm -hmm. and I don't really care to respond to that because it's it's negative. Right, it I, I want to have fun with you. Right. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. It's right. no big deal. It's not like, right, exactly. You're not looking for marriage. At least I'm not going to be the stalker. I know there are people <laughs> that are stalkers that are out there. Are there? Okay. But when you come across profiles, do you read it? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do you find out? What do I find out insofar as what? Like, what do you read? <laughs> what's what's common in, in men's profiles? Oh, what's common, huh? Um, a lot of negativity as well. Really? Yeah. Um, the filter thing would be mentioned. Uh, they're not interested in seeing that kind of stuff. What else do I? What else do I see? Um, <laughs> so it's actually the same thing that I'm looking at. <laughs> yes. It's like holy crap, we're encountering the exact same issue. I mean, there are good, there are good ones too. It seems like my experiences have been a little bit more positive than yours, maybe. I don't know, but but what do you respond to the the best? Intelligence, somebody that is, can communicate for sure. That's extremely important. But how do you show them, or how do they show you that they communicate when it's just you know a couple of. <sighs> comments and a profile and you're limited to you know how much you type right well it depends on what app or forum we're talking about in order to meet these people but i mean you can typically type a fair amount of you know a good paragraph <laughs> that would let you know somebody kind of what they're after that they're intelligent they're not rude 
like, hey, let's fuck. Can I say that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of thing. So, like, uh, in their subject line, you know, I usually like to say, um, this is what I like to do. I want to find out, you know, people that have the same common things together. Sure. Common ground, common interests. But the problem is, everybody likes music. Everybody likes, um, to be happy they spell it out it's like i want somebody to communicate i want somebody mm-hmm. to do this that and the other thing and it to me it's it's pretty common it's over and over again well i will say as i'm listening to you talk i'm sitting here thinking about like what turns me off i'm the type of person that if you just if you can't bother to at least give me a couple sentences to show a that you're a real person and then b just that you are more i'm worth more than just like hey hi that doesn't do it for me. That's not enough for me. Oh, when they initial initial, initial contact. contact, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yep. yeah. That's true. I mean, I get the same thing. Yeah, um, some of the women just say hi, and then it uh, shows a lack of personality to me, and that's just an immediate turn off. I need more than that. Well, what if it's just they don't know what to expect and they're nervous? They don't know what to say. Um, I mean, you know, like this this lady sending me a, a text. I don't know what to put in my profile. What do I do? Right. Uh, tell me what you like, what you don't like. Well, not necessarily what you don't like. We just covered that one. <laughs> but what you like Good to catch. do, um, I want to catch, I usually want to catch somebody that I have something in common with. Mm-hmm. I'm sure, of course. Yeah, absolutely. The most common thing uh, that I see is um, this is how many kids I have. You know, if I have five kids, then you can swipe the other way <laughs> if you don't like it. Yeah. Um, I don't want somebody with their shirt off, they say, so swipe the other way. Or I don't like uh, Trumpers, swipe oh, the other way. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I was just thinking that. that, that that's a, that's, I see that a lot. Yep, that's a, that's a good one. Yeah, but they, they still could be a, a good person. Mm-hmm. True. That's it's valid. Just, it's just personal I mean, that's, preference. Yeah, that's a... To me, that's... You don't talk about politics. You don't talk about religion. religion. But mm-hmm. You talk about each other. And mm. if, if you actually click and get along if you don't then the other stuff doesn't matter mm. who cares if you like trump you don't like trump um or right or whatever right okay that's valid I'll, I'll accept that no argument for me the learning aspect is, is the fun part sure i agree absolutely the the judging on just what your picture looks like <clears throat> if it's photoshopped or or whatever it is that that's the problem sure. initially uh-huh. it's agree. like initial contact like um I describe it as there's 10 men to one woman, Mm -hmm. and it's increasingly hard for us to, at least for me, to find somebody, Hmm. to even talk to. Oh, wow. That's very surprising. And for you, you said it's the total opposite, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like, how many emails would you get a day, let's say? Depends on my activity. Um, Could be 20, 20, 15. Sure. Yeah, I wish I had this. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no You need to grow your hair long and dye it blonde and you're good to go, yeah. <laughs> go into the porn industry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> but, yeah, just be genuine and talk about the positive things. Not necessarily the negative things. Yeah. I mean, it's understandable that, you know, you, you spill out some of the things that um, you think that people won't like. Like, I have five kids. Um, that could be a deterrent for some that people. That could be a, a major deterrent. So right off the bat, that is something that I would probably point out. Depending on what the person's looking for. If they want a relationship. They might not want a relationship with someone with five kids. If they just want a, a fling, then is that really necessary to say that? What does a fling have to do with five children? You know well, what I mean? Well, yeah. See, that's another problem that I have, uh, where there's an option to choose what kind of relationship do you want? Do you want just sex? Do you want a, a fling? Do you want a relationship? Do you want to get married? I mean, I see those options all the time. Mm. And from talking to you in the past, <laughs> it seems like a lot, a lot of the guys... I don't know if this is true or not. A lot of the guys put, I want a relationship. But really, after they talk to you, they send dick pics. Mm -hmm. And they they just want to screw. Yeah, and they're very, very... I would say happy for, but that's not really whatever. They're satisfied when, if you're honest, if you're an honest woman and you say, you know what? I really don't want something serious. A fling would be great. I just want some affection. I want to fuck however you want to say it. Then that's when their true colors will be spilled. That's what happens typically. Oh my God, it's so good to hear you say that. I'm so glad that you said that. So they lied essentially. 
from the start. They did. They were being dishonest. They said they yeah. wanted... Right, exactly. Exclusivity. And then you say, well, that's not really what I'm looking for. And they're on board with that. I mean, at the same time, though, would a guy actually not... Some men, I mean... But would a guy actually say, oh, no, I don't want to just fuck you? Hmm. That doesn't sound good at all. So. <laughs> It sounds like, what? <laughs> I mean, eventually they want, well, yeah, I mean, eventually they want to. Well, sure. But that's, well, for me, I mean, that's not the only thing that drives me. I, I need some somebody that has something in common. Right. With, I want a, a partner. I want a, mm-hmm. a best friend. Mm-hmm. And maybe I'm not the normal guy. I would say you're not, no. Those other guys just ruin it for somebody who's actually looking for a real relationship. Sure, I would have to agree with you. That's 100%. my big problem. Completely agree. So, if you lie in your profile, why, why would you do that? Because guys want to get laid. <laughs> yeah, but... A lot of them. Well, see, that's that's the other thing is, you know, if you tell the truth and you, you say you want this, yeah. there's tons and tons of other people that want the same thing. Right, maybe. Uh-huh. So why would you waste somebody else's time? And why would you um, get other people jaded on the fact that, okay, now every guy wants uh, just sex. And everybody's lying about they just want a relationship. I mean, some people's mindset might be might go there. Might, maybe, yeah. I think it also depends on the forum. I don't know if we're allowed to mention spe- you know specific places that you one would go to meet. But I think if you're looking for a relationship or love, there are sites that cater to that, right? There's also sites that maybe cater to just having fun. Yeah, like um, I mentioned Craigslist used to have something. Right. Uh-huh. Or there was something called Backpage, Backpage or uh-huh. something like that. Yep. Or, or Friend Finder. Or, Adult Friend Finder. Yeah, or yep, whatever it is. Yep. Mm-hmm. I mean, why don't... Oh, I don't know. It's so if you want to get laid, it. go there. <laughs> It's completely spelled out what you want. You're looking to get fucked. Period. End of story. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've, I've never really tried those sites. Well. Have okay. you? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Not in a long time. Years ago. In my 30s, I did. Yes. So so there's real people? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Because I'm afraid if, if I go on those websites, it's a waste of time. They're fake people that take you to other fake ads that make you pay for something else. Because I've, mm-hmm. I've had fake ads on these single profiles, and mm-hmm. they go, well, if you want to talk to me further, go on to this site and then pay nine ninety nine a month. And I'm like, okay, next. I know that, this person's uh, I hear that a lot. That's a, that's a good one. That's a big one. I hear that a lot. I mean, I can't really say today, because again, this was you know 15 years ago. I think times are definitely different now. So whether or not there would be, there probably, it would be inundated with many, many fake profiles, I would think. The sex sites. Because they... I mean, makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. It's like I go to Match.com, and I see the same thing. I go to Tinder, I see the exact same thing. Mm-hmm. I go to, what else is there? Uh, eHarmony, mm-hmm. um, uh, even ChristianMingle.com, and I mean, I can name tons and tons of different websites. Yeah. But essentially, the way I see it, they're all pretty much the same. Right. Do you see Do you see the same people? <laughs> Not I've heard that a lot too, from guys that. I'm I mean, oh yeah, here. yeah. Like I'm on here and I'm on there, and I keep seeing the same people because everyone's everywhere. Yeah, it's like <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been out of these date sites, and then I see the same exact people. Oh, I remember her from ten years ago. She's back <laughs> on here. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm just saying, even just now, it's not necessarily someone you knew or saw, but I mean, you're on Tinder example. I maybe I'm on Tinder example. Maybe you are on match. Maybe I'm on match. So maybe it's like the people are, they're trying in every pool. <laughs> they're swimming in every pool looking for a fish. Yeah. You know? Well, I mean, there, there's, there are sites that are better uh, right. because of the content. Like if I go to, like for me, the most popular um, site is plentyoffish.com. Cause yeah. It's free. It's free. You don't have to worry about anything. Mm-hmm. There's not too many questions you ask. I mm-hmm. mean, there is a a whole form to fill out and everything else like anything else but that had for me that has the worst collection of people that's interesting i have i've had a relationship from that site <laughs> years ago but anyways when i was on that site in 2014 i think it was i remember you could specify what you want i think like i want a blonde 
Am I wrong? Yeah, I want no, I someone so. tall. You can't do that on Tinder. Tinder's blind. Oh. You're bl- going in it blindly. It's either, hey, oh, you yeah. look hot or you don't. But I'm saying you can be more specific to your wants. Right. Uh, yeah, I guess On a so. real dating site. I mean, eHarmony is like that. You can be really specific and then they generate uh, the person for you and it's totally something that you're not looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally. It's like even, <laughs> oh, even I tried... Um, uh, um, it's a physical place that you drive and they, in person, they interview you and they set up a date for you. It's not computerized or anything. It's, um, what is it called? What? I forgot what this it's called. This is new on me. It's like dinner and a date or oh, what's it called? I don't know. I've never heard of this. News to me. Yeah, because I tried that. You know, I'm, I'm an educated guy. You know, mm-hmm, I've, mm-hmm. I've had a lot of schooling and everything. And, you know, I have my own house. I have my own car. I don't live with my parents. Um, I'm not uh, balding. I'm, you know, a lot of the prerequisites that some people have. <laughs> I'm not balding. Okay. No, you certainly are not balding. And then, you know, I have a great job. You know, I love my job. Mm-hmm. And then I go to this place. I walk to them. They interview me. Um, they make you pay $1,000. And they choose people that they think would be compatible with me. So you should see what they did. (laughs) Really? This should be good. Yeah. (laughs) So what they did was they hooked me up with uh, somebody who was tall. I mean, I like him tall. Okay. And she had really short hair, uh, blonde hair. Mm -hmm. But she lived in a not so desirable area. Okay. And she lived in a room that she was renting Mm. with other people that had their own rooms. You know, it looked like a really small apartment with a separate room. Okay. And you look in her room and there's just a mattress on the floor and there's junk all around it. Uh, There's a microwave next to the room. And the room was was, uh, probably 10 by 10. It was kind of small. Small, okay. Our lifestyles wouldn't really match. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not judging her where she lives or, or anything else, but... Sometimes you require somebody that actually takes care of themselves. Sure, of course. Or that has a certain, um, well, at least that matches you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking maybe <clears throat> intelligently they, they might not be able to uh, hold a conversation. And that was true. Mm. I mean, our, our first date, you know, we went out to eat and she invited me to her house. And mm-hmm. uh, nowadays, for me, uh, inviting you know, to your house in the first date is a red flag. So oh, I see. I went on. A, this is a, another. This was a phone app. Okay. And we used to leave messages back and forth on a, uh, <clears throat> a voice messaging system. Mm, okay. And a lot of these girls would uh, say, "Oh, you sound sexy. Uh, let's get to know each other." And yep. then we left messages back and forth until we exchanged numbers. Okay. And of course, it pissed me off because my one of my friends uh, did the same thing because. You have to pay a certain amount of money when you call in. So he leaves a message for me, and I'm thinking when I'm calling in, I'm thinking this is a woman, when it's really him saying, ah, I gotcha. It's <laughs> <laughs> no, like, that's, hey, sexy. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he's got his sexy voice going on, and I'm oh. like, oh, my God, you jerk. <laughs> you made me waste this money just to call in for, <laughs> for, your, for, you. <laughs> yeah. for your fucking around. To be fucking around, exactly. Yeah. Uh, there's this girl named Cindy. Okay. She lives in, like, the next city over. Okay. At least at the time. Mm-hmm. And we agreed to talk on the phone, and um, we actually know some of the same people, but I don't know her. Okay. So that, that that was kind of interesting to me. That can happen. Mm-hmm. So the first thing, the first <clears throat> thing she said is, um, let's meet. Why don't you just come to my house? And I'm like, okay. This is the first time I've ever done this kind of thing. Okay. So... Of course, now I know that's a red flag not to go to somebody else's house. But I go to this house, and it's dark outside. Okay. And it's, it's you know, fall weather. Um, it's getting a little bit cold. Mm-hmm. Um, I pull up. I have my headlights on, and it's beaming on her uh, her garage. She's got a, a white garage door. Mm-hmm. And I think the driveway is, is really short. You can only fit one car length okay. until I pull up to the garage door. Okay. And when I pull up to this house and into the driveway, she's standing right in the middle of, of the garage. Okay. And the closer I get, the <laughs> taller she seems. The closer you get. Okay. So I get out of my car. I didn't know she was this tall. Okay. So she was about, I don't know, she's about six foot two. Oh my goodness. 
And I'm not trying to make fun of anybody, but I'm mm-hmm. just describing right. uh, what I'm looking at. Fair. So she's perfectly round. <laughs> okay. And what interested me is her chin kind of melted with her shoulders. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. you know, and, and um, she was 32, 32 okay. years old. Okay, so, young. So she she uh, escorts me into the house. and Oh, we, you didn't leave at that point? No. <laughs> no, I didn't leave. Okay. I mean, okay, I'm what's, just asking questions. What's wrong with uh, learning about who you are, regardless of what you look like or your personality? Okay. And, yeah. You know, okay. Mm-hmm. What's another friend? Sure. Uh huh. <laughs> You're good like, angle. Sure. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> no. You're I'm like, not. sure. You liar. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> <Right>? not. <laughs> no, I'm listening. I'm listening. Not judging. Continue. No, you're thinking you're such a liar. I'm gonna stab you. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. No, but I, I go in and you know it looks like we're looking down a hallway. If you, if you picture her house, okay. There's, there's a couch in this hallway, and then there's a tiny tiny TV right on the other side of this hallway. All right. And you can squeeze through and walk through the hallway, and down the hall at the end is the kitchen. And there's probably rooms on either side, but I didn't. I was. I didn't get past the couch. Okay. All so right. what she did was, um, she goes, "Have a seat. We can watch TV and we can talk to each other." Mm, okay, sounds nice. So she's sitting on my left, and she goes, "Hey, would you like a beer or something? Because I'm gonna get myself something to drink." And I'm like, "No, I mean, I'm not a big drinker." Or anything. Right. I know this. <laughs> she. <laughs> Oh, the she anticipation. Get, she gets her, yeah, she gets a drink. <laughs> and then we're, we started talking about what you like, what you don't like. And then okay. all of a sudden, she lays her head in my lap. She looks up. And I'm spelling the aroma of the beer coming from her mouth. Okay. And she goes, you want to kiss me, don't you? And I'm looking down at her and I'm like, what? Not on a butt. <laughs> no, I wasn't interested. And it's right. a first date and everything. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and I can see her chin flap wrap around my leg. <laughs> which was... The picture you paint is so lovely. I, I know. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to... <laughs> but it was... I don't know. So let me ask you this question then. If she had been sexy, let's say she were me... Would you have kissed her? Because you're saying it's a first date. Uh, no, I still wouldn't do it. Oh, you wouldn't do it. Okay. No, I wouldn't do that. Huh. Okay. Interesting. You learn something new every well, day. I'm well. I mean, you said I wasn't a normal guy, but I, I like to. It attracts me to learn that you're uh, smart and you're intelligent and you can have an intelligent conversation. And it's like I can't come across those people mm. at all. Okay. All right. You mean you can't, you can't, when I, you do, you're not interested is what you mean. Well, I, I can't find anybody that, that would have a good conversation. Okay, I was I was looking at it the wrong way, apologies. Got it. It's like when I talk to them, they usually have yes, no answers or... Yeah. Or... Right, they're not complex they, enough, not interesting enough, right? Well, they don't, they don't show interest. Mm. Like equal amount of interest. Right, okay. Like I ask all the questions and they expect me to, I guess... I'm guessing they expect me to be the man. Well, (laughs) you're guessing. Well, you are the man. But, I mean, you mean take the lead is what you mean. Is that what you mean? Like, lead lead the conversation. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so to say. Well, I I hear that a lot, too. I mean, a lot of women don't communicate well. I don't know if it's fear of or just um, shine. I don't know. I hear that all the time. I hear that a lot. A lot. Or they're not fun. They're too serious. And all the things that you mentioned. I mean, yes. well, see, or they want I, a bitch right up front about something. Well, that's okay. I mean, show your personality. True. I mean, if you bitch, we can laugh about it. If you, I don't know, if you know how to have fun and, and you know, I ask, you know, what do you do for a living? And, of course, that's a common question. Common. Mm-hmm. And you Always. say, oh, you're in the nursing field. And I'm like, oh, I fix nursing equipment. And oh. we have something in common. Okay. And maybe we can expand on that. It's like, well, okay, what kind of equipment? Why don't you ask that? And if they don't ask any questions, it's almost like they're not interested. So I should go to the next thing to find out what they are interested in so we can have a passionate, more passionate kind of conversation. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean, but with regards to the, the nursing, I mean, that's just an example, obviously. But it's, it is, it's a connection, 
of sorts, I would say. But is it really that deep of a thing? I mean, I'm, it's, I, I maybe in your position, you're looking for anything to build on, and that could be something, certainly. A, a, some, a common thread. But are you really going to sit and have a conversation, like a lengthy conversation about nursing equipment? <laughs> no disrespect. Not, I'm not just, really. It's just a point of view. It's a point of view. It's just the fact that she shows interest on in something. I agree. That, that or, I definitely Or makes agree. an effort. Right. I definitely it, It's agree. almost like there's no effort. It, it's almost like, at least on my end, there's a one-way street where, um, let me talk about you. Let me, how many kids do you have? Do you have a big family? And, you know, I think it's a back and forth thing. It's a give and take. Sure. Not, absolutely. Not just, uh-huh, absolutely. And I know from talking to a lot of people. Uh, women like that. Women like being asked questions. Of course. But, it shows interest, like you say. Right. But yeah. why can't I get, get the it in same return. respect? Right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, I guess it just depends on the woman. There, you know, maybe selfishness, maybe being selfish. I don't know. Possible. I mean, or I don't know. And I also, I also um, hear the other end uh-huh. where a lot of men just like to talk about themselves. Mm. Okay. Yeah, sure. I got. I have seen that. Absolutely, that's an immediate goodbye for me. That's immediate goodbye. If they want to just talk about themselves, if they show no interest in asking me anything, absolutely not. I have no, I have no time for that. Yeah, but I can kind of see their end. If you don't ask any questions, they're going to talk about themselves just to try to pump themselves up to kind of say, "Hey, look at me. I'm good enough to date." Right, like boasting. Like, yeah. be interested in me. I'm giving you all the reasons to be interested. Yeah. Telling you. Okay, right. right. Exactly right. I can get that. I can... I can. Or on my end, I become mysterious because I don't really talk about myself. I uh-huh. want to talk about you. I want to learn about you. Mm-hmm. Are we a good match? Are you interested in, in learning about me? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm interested in that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, if you want attention, so do I. But, okay, so this begs the question, are you, are you, is that the way that you behave because you have learned that's the right thing to do? Or are you genuinely interested? I'm genuinely interested in oh, okay. finding. All right. It's like that's what this whole podcast is about, is, is finding the love and the perfect person that fits. Mm-hmm. That you don't fight with, you don't argue, because uh, I believe in opposites don't attract, because opposites, to me, cause fights. Right. We did discuss that. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, that's an interesting perspective, too, because a lot of people will, would say, no, opposites do attract. They can be attracted, but is it lasting? No. Yeah. it's It doesn't yeah. last. Yeah, because in the end, <clears throat> it's just going to cause a fight. Right. It might, be, it might be mystique initially because you're so different, but no, it's, there's no longevity there. None. Right? Right. right. Well... In in most cases, at least for me, there there is none. Yeah. But I've seen people stay together because they have opposite. Like one person likes Trump and the other one likes somebody else. Yeah. They just don't involve themselves. Right, which is can be you know it's like the adult thing to do, really, if you're capable. And yeah, if they can respect themselves and have separate lives that way, mm-hmm. um, that that's that doesn't feel good to me. What doesn't? Like if if they're accepting that okay you can you can be a Trump supporter over here and I can be a Biden supporter over here right and not coming together uh, it it'd be more I don't know it'd be better it it would feel better if um, you were both on the same page like mm-hmm. if you were both into one thing instead of two opposite things mm-hmm. then you can both be passionate. Right. About that same thing. Sure. Because yeah. I have a theory. Okay, what's it's the theory? Like the the more things that you're passionate about together, you come closer and closer together mm. until you come up with hundreds and hundreds of things that you're passionate about. Together. And then you come so close, you think now after work, you're excited to come home mm-hmm. instead of like I hear most people like, oh, I hate my boyfriend or I hate this because he's so lazy and I... I, I have to clean the house, and why doesn't he help out, and this and that and the other thing. Yeah. And instead of those kind of arguments, you have so many things that you come together on, those other things... Don't matter. Don't matter. They fall by the wayside. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I would agree. No argument from me. So it's important. So, yeah. So those people are, that are still together, um, it's, it's not... 
I don't know even how to say it. <laughs> it it's just, Mm-mm. you know, there, there's still, like in the end, when you're in your 80s or something, or 60s, whatever, uh-huh. are you still going to be interested? Right, and that's really the important thing. Or is it just going to be normal and you're just going to accept it and settle? Mm, right. Which so, certainly a lot of people do settle. Right. I mean, some people ac- accept certain things and some people won't. Won't, exactly. And it's like, why would you settle when you know exactly what you want, you know exactly what you're worth? Uh, why can't you go after that? Well, you can, but look how hard it is to find. Yeah, because people lie on their profiles. <laughs> exactly. They want a relationship why are we when they. Here? Yes. Yeah. So stop lying on your profile <laughs> mm-hmm. so I can have a chance. To, to find something. Yeah, agree. Pictures are important, and not to Photoshop on both ends. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Um, the subject line: talk about yourself. You don't have to talk about your kids or religion or right. anything else. Um, find something in common, like you know, I like to bike ride, go hiking, uh, sing karaoke, I play the guitar, the piano, I draw and paint. Um, any of those things. I mean. Pick something. If if you don't even have, like, like what kind of hobbies do you have? I knew you were going to ask this question. I always found that to be a terrible question because here's the thing. Another popular thing on the profiles that I see is those things you just cited. It's, like, amazing to me how many people kayak, <laughs> you know, and just do all these crazy things. That said, I mean, I do like to hike and stuff like that. But isn't, isn't it, it can only, it's sort of like a filler to me. Again, I'm a kind of a different kind of person. Right. Well, see, so, let me focus in on you then, so oh. what I know about you. Uh-huh. So what you can focus in on is um, you're into Halloween. You like to collect art, you yes. can say. Yes, true. Uh-huh, absolutely. And if you find somebody that has that same passion, you can come together mm. in that in that manner. Yeah, true. very true. Absolutely. And you like fashion. I, I love fashion. Mm-hmm. Maybe some guy is GQ that has a profile, mm. and maybe he might match you better. Than, than somebody who just wants to send you dick pics. <laughs> well, the occasional dick pic I'm okay with. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, initially, uh, I mean, that's not that's not going to attract you immediately. No, it's not. No, it's not. Absolutely like, not. Really? No. Yeah, because I I've even got dick pics sent to me because <laughs> of uh, you know I didn't know this particular person was a transgender. Mm-hmm. It looks like a woman. Yeah. Until, you know, you ask a certain amount of questions, and all of a sudden I get a dick pic. It's like, what do you do? What do you do? It's what like, did you well, do? Well, sorry, I'm not interested. I didn't realize. Oh, okay. And I apologize, and maybe we're not a good match because I'm looking for for a woman. Yeah, I mean, it seems pretty easy. It's not easy. <laughs> okay, so going past, so we created a profile. We're searching for pictures right and it's just this is like another job Mm. really (laughs) it's very time consuming if you're really looking for something someone yeah but if you tell the truth i mean it's ridiculous well see let me let me twist this on you oh twist away See, I created, uh, this was a while ago, Mm -hmm. where I created a profile, Mm -hmm. and I send out, at least a a three-month span, I send out at least 500 notes and say, hey, how you doing? Or, hey, it looks like we have this in common, (laughs) if you'd like to talk, uh, I'd be willing, if you're interested, you know, so on and so forth. Right. Mm -hmm. I send out 500 of these. Were actual, like an actual number is 500? And this was on Match.com. Yeah, the actual number was 500, and it topped out, and it stopped at 500, because that's all that Match would would tell me that I sent out at that particular time. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. So. (laughs) That's very, it's tenacity right there. Right. And (laughs) uh, maybe after all that time, I get one, one person that's interested. Out of 500. Yeah. We're not exaggerating here. No. Okay. All right. And it's like, so what's wrong with my profile? And some of the, well, I get I get contacts, but not quality contacts. It's like a lot of people that um, contact me look like my mother. <laughs> what's wrong with your mother? <laughs> well, I don't want to date my mother. Oh, okay. Fair. That, that's the problem. Fair. 
and they're <laughs> way older than I am, which I'm not necessarily interested in, in my mother's age. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Or somebody that looks like Aunt B. <laughs> Yes, okay. I mean, <sighs> you know, I, I like to take care of myself, so I look for somebody who also takes care of themselves. Sure, absolutely. I mean, why not? Right, it's fair, seems fair. And you got one reply. Let me go back to that one story about that uh, one lady that was, you know, <laughs> larger than six foot tall. Uh, uh-huh. She escorts me in her house, and we're, we're on the couch. Mm-hmm. Uh, she lays her head on my lap. Uh-huh. And I look down at her, and she goes, do you want to kiss me, don't you? Right. And I look at her, and I don't want to kiss her. Right. I mean, it's not because, you know, she's large. It's not because her neck is wrapping around my leg. <laughs> and, you know, I have pretty muscular legs. Uh-huh. I would say so. Yeah, they would look it. And, uh, you know, I, I try to talk about something else. Change the subject. Yeah, I tried to change the subject. <laughs> Boy, that must have been a it, hell of a thing to try to do. <laughs> yeah, it just gets uncomfortable. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you've you've gone into dates like that, right? That where you're uncomfortable. Um, sure. Yeah, I've had a few. Uh huh. Well, see, the other thing is, um, she was done with her beer. Um, mm-hmm. after that, um, she goes, "Hey, do you want something to drink?" And I go, "No." So and... wait, you did not kiss? Let's clarify. Oh no. Okay, you went just dodged it. Yeah, I just I just looked the other way because I didn't want to smell the the beer from coming from her breath. Okay. And I just started talking about something else. Okay, got it. So uh, she said I have to go to the bathroom, and then while she was in the bathroom, I don't know if she even heard me because the door was shut. I go well, I got to get going. I'll <laughs> see you later. And I go out the door because the door is right there, the uh-huh. entrance. Mm-hmm. And walk to my car, I start it, uh, I start backing up in this little driveway. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if I was seeing this correctly, but it was dark. Yeah, it was dark. Mm-hmm. It, it's almost like she was running outside with her, her panties to her ankles, <laughs> waving me down, says, Hey, I have heart alcohol, come back. Oh my and I'm goodness, like, no, God. I gotta go, thanks. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm all the way out. <laughs> See ya. I wouldn't want to be. A... It's like I'm all the way the fuck out. I'm all the way the fuck out. <laughs> I'm like, uh, but I'm not saying that she was a bad person. It was just well, nobody's. I don't think we're thinking that you're was, saying that. It was just uncomfortable. Yeah, I would imagine. That's that's an odd one. That's an interesting one. And I'm assuming you never spoke with her again. No, she became a stalker. Oh, she became a stalker. Yeah, because we lived in the next cities. So we had, you know, similar friends that I didn't know about. Yeah, you said this. Uh-huh. And she discovered, well, she started talking about me. To the friends. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then my friends knew who she was talking about. <laughs> like, How would you not from such a description? <laughs> I would think that it would be easy to deduce. Well, she <laughs> she was talking to my friends about me. Oh, it's not the other way around. Well, that I, also... I didn't. I didn't talk to my friends about what I did. Oh, or, you weren't bragging about I... that night, or anything. Oh no, there was nothing to brag about. I'm kidding. Oh my goodness. But I don't know. It was just a bad situation for me. Sure. And I guess my friends said, "Yeah, he works here, or he does this, and he does that." And mm. At the time, um, I did a couple of things. I did a couple of jobs. One of the jobs that I did was I sold uh, beef sticks and beef jerky at trade shows. Oh, okay. That's interesting. And all of a sudden, I saw her show up. Oh, boy. And she goes, hey, remember me? And I'm like, oh, well, yeah. I forget? <laughs> or she sees me at the store because, you know, the, the local grocery store is close. There's only a couple of them that we can go to. Yeah. And she sees me there and she goes, hey, how's it going, Brian? And... This and that and the other thing. And I'm like, hey, how's it going? And she goes, hey, it's going well. And she's like, well, we should hang out sometime. And I'm like, yeah, maybe. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe not. (laughs) I don't know. What are the chances when you want to run into someone you can't for for the life of you? But that situation, you saw her twice. No, for years after that, I just continue to run into her. Stop it. For years. Yeah. Oh, that's comical. Did she get any better looking as the years went on? Uh, or more enticing to you? 
No. <laughs> No, not at all. Oh, I, I had to ask. One never knows. More enticing. <laughs> One never knows. <clears throat> I don't know. That that wasn't the intelligent conversation that I was looking for. <laughs> that's not where you were headed. Well, that's <laughs> no. where we ended up. So. <laughs> I mean, haven't haven't you had dates where, uh, you know, all of a sudden their head is in your lap, and they go, <laughs> "You want to do me, don't you?" Or you want me to send you a dick pic, don't you? You know? <laughs> but, I mean, maybe in a different way. Maybe not. I don't know. that. I mean, men are aggressive, but they try to be a little more slick than that. That's, I mean, there's a lot that I could say about this, but I'm going to choose the fifth. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> Teach me. <laughs> no. no, I'm talking about your encounter, not mine. What do you mean? Well, I'm just saying there's there's a lot of comments that could be made that might be a little unsavory and not very nice. Oh, I don't care. Oh, God. No, I just mean... Let's do it real, how, girl. How would, I, how would I even say this tactfully? I mean, it's going to make me look bad. <laughs> yeah, I said there, this is adult content. If you don't want to listen to it, then shut it off. Right, but at the same time, I don't want the listeners to, to think I'm some kind of way when I'm not. I'm a good person. I'm nice. I'm kind. I'm, you know what I mean? All that kind of stuff. I was just going to say, like, maybe uh, if you don't have a lot of action, for lack of a better word, or something like that. I'm assuming this woman probably didn't have very much action. What do you mean by action? I don't, <laughs> I don't know what that is. You don't know what the word action means? <laughs> I'm going to stab you. It's just fun. Sex attraction connection from the way you describe her she sounds like she she might be lacking in that department let's just say that okay so that being said well i mean i'm not opposed to dating people like that because i i've dated all kinds of shapes and sizes and it didn't, doesn't matter if you're attractive or not attractive to really? me it, 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 ma- it matters that it's the personality and how you treat me yeah okay that's fair well, again, I don't want to be painted in a negative light, but that was my initial thought when you asked me about men being so aggressive, because they're really not. Men try to be cool. You know, they try to be cool and sexy. Plus, I think it's like a different thing. You're not going to run to the police and say, this chick tried to rape me. You, oh, you wait to, a minute. You, know what I'm saying? you mean she doesn't have game? <laughs> is that what it is? I don't know. Did she have game? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. She tried to entice me with alcohol, and she didn't realize that I I wasn't much a, drinker, of a drinker. As I sip my cocktail, she wanted to get you all the way fucked up and <laughs> and take yeah, advantage probably, of it. Yeah. yeah, she, she did. Actually, did yeah. She mentioned. She did. She mentioned that <laughs> later on. <laughs> how long? How long was this uh, encounter? By the way, what did do you it mean? Ha- what, how long were you there? Like an hour? Oh, I don't even know. It was so long ago. Oh, it was so long And ago. this, this okay. was my, my first attempt at online dating. Oh, dear God. And you kept at it. And it was just a disaster. Yeah, I, w- I would say that probably is the definition of a disaster. Definitely. Kind of right out of a movie, actually, if you think about it. Yeah, but at least at least I learned from it. What'd you learn? It's like, don't go to somebody's house on the first date. That's what you said. That was the moral of this little story. Yeah. Wasn't it? And get to know somebody. I mean, if there's immediate attraction, immediate thing, and first conversation, you have so much fun. Uh, I'm not opposed to, Taking you know, it there. I mean, yeah. if you're two consenting adults and that's what you want, you should do it. You should go down that road. Right. But a lot of time, most of the time, it doesn't happen that way. Oh, okay. And I like to learn the real person. Mm. I like to learn, you know, deeper. What, yeah, what can we come together on? What can we have fun with? Uh, what's our passions? What's what's our goals? Mm. Um, what's your morals and values? Mm. Are they the same? Right. I mean, mm-hmm. aren't aren't those important? Sure, absolutely. No argument here. Instead, I'll just send you a dick pic. <laughs> Please, I don't mind. Here's my phone number. <laughs> you're, you're ridiculous. Oh. Where do we go from here? Well. At least for me, dating sucks. I mean, there was some positive dates where mm. uh, they were nice people and it just didn't work out. Yeah. Or they look me up and down. It's like, okay, I don't like you because you're not, I don't know, like some women like men that are younger than them. Oh, okay. I'm sure that's a thing. Yeah. Yeah, that because my brother is actually, now she, he, he's married to somebody that's 10 years older than he was. No shit. Yeah. Okay. Well, it, it's kind of along the lines of my grandparents on the way um, our grandfather thought. 
Because my grandfather married an older woman, and she was 15 years older than he was. Wow, that's quite an age gap, for sure. And he was a big businessman. Okay. And what he thought was, he thought that um, women lived longer than men. So if he can time it where they both died at the same time. (laughs) Okay. Uh, so that way, uh, they don't have to grieve oh, together. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize for laughing. It seemed comical, but okay. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> stab. Oh yeah, God. let me stab you right now. <laughs> Please. And we'll get everything over with. It's a coming. Huh. That's... And then I'll be like, Lisa who? <laughs> Thanks <laughs> no, a lot. I'm kidding. No, but that was to me that was romantic. That was a rom- yes, it is a romantic yeah. way of thinking. It and, is very romantic. Yeah, and us kids kind of took that mm. and, and adapted that philosophy and and carried it. Yeah, it's like on my mother's side, my grandfather is way older than my grandmother. I think she was maybe thirteen years older than she was. Wow, yeah, that's pretty good. That's a good chunk. But um, the interesting thing is uh, my grandmother on her side died early, and the grandfather on my father's side died early. Wow. And both of them separately lived until they were 96. Wow. And I think, um, let's see, the other ones, I think my grandmother on my mother's side, um, she died when she was 74. Mm -hmm. So imagine... Not living with the love of your life for from seventy four on to ninety six. Oh my gosh, you're obviously not you're not going on Tinder at ninety or at seventy four, looking for someone at that point. I'm not trying to make light of this conversation. Well, actually, I, I see people that are that old because they contact me, <laughs> and they're like, "Hey, you look sexy." Oh <laughs> well, <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, you look sexy too." <laughs> Stab. <laughs> Funny. Well, I mean, for her age, I mean, she would look sexy, but I, I'm not interested because... That's not a thing. I don't think at that age I can relate. What could you relate to? Yeah, I, I exactly. can't relate to um, no. Laurel and Hardy or um, <laughs> oh, shoot. or the silent movies back then. Yeah. I mean, I know the era and I know all the other stuff, but mm-hmm. I mean, certain references I wouldn't even be able to... Pick up on, yeah. I mean, I start my life in the 90s. Not necessarily the 80s. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's important to have that commonality. Sure. I mean, you kind of see that? I do. More than kind of. Yeah, I do. More than kind of? More than kind of. Ever so slight. Ever so slight. <laughs> so like, well, since I told you my bad dates, I mean, don't you have bad dates that, that you've come across? <sighs> oh, let me think about this. Um, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm joking. No, you've had uh, bad days. I did. I had... Okay, so no, I have a question about your <laughs> chin lady girl stalker. Okay. So, you had seen photos of her or no? No, this was strictly a voicemail and we strictly oh, was the went by <clears throat> voice okay. alone. Wow, are you ever brave to have been in that situation? <laughs> I'm like, hi, how you doing? <laughs> And That's she's like, right. Oh, hi. How you doing? And she sounded cute and everything like that. <laughs> yeah, she sounded all right. Okay. All right. Fair. I mean, I, I can't really judge somebody by their voice. Okay. Because somebody with a raspy, smoky voice can, can be real sexy. Uh huh. And somebody with a uh, little tiny voice that's real sweet can be real sexy too. But when you look at them, uh, they could be totally different. Right. It's like some guys that I talk to. There's um, <clears throat> there's a, a guy who I nicknamed Tiny. Because <laughs> okay. he's, he's probably, he's not really a midget, but um, he's a little taller than 4 foot 11. Okay. And he has the deepest voice. <laughs> That's interesting. And I'm like, if you only heard his voice. You'd never know. You, you would think that he's this <laughs> tall, giant guy. Mm-hmm. You would never know. That's interesting. And I'm like the same with women. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. I would say conversely, though, I, if, if a guy does not have a sexy voice, I'm kind of turned off. I'm sorry. I mean... You are so shallow. <laughs> I'm going to punch you in Fuck the face. Fuck you. What? <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, I definitely, but I've been in those situations where voices are just a turn off and you do talk to the person. It's like, oh, okay. It's just a voice. But initially (laughs) I think, (laughs) I think a girl wants a sexy voice Yeah, or some masculine something, you know, like that. That is, maybe that is shallow now that I think about it. I guess I'm shallow. No, but you want what you want. Yeah. I can't really apologize for, for that. It's not like I would turn someone down. No, and that, that's more of an attraction. And sure. I mean, there's a plus when there's there's a lot of things that you actually get in a relationship. Define. Like the sexy voice, mm. um, the sexy body. Even if it's just little the, things like that that add up. Yeah. Yeah, the, true. The way they walk, the way they carry themselves. On top of that, you know, they can have an intellectual conversation. Mm-hmm. At the same time, you can have... A uh, fuck tone of, of a fuck, fuck tone. Lo- uh, sorry, a fuck load of fun with a fuck, a fuck tone. tone. <laughs> That's a new one. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Absolutely. I mean, even those are those might be small, minute boxes, but if you check them, they add up for sure, right? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. See, that's up. what I mean about my theory is. If there's more things that you're attracted to, more things that you have in common, yes, the the more you come together, mm. and the more the little stupid things don't matter. Right. Exactly. Yeah, I agree with you wholeheartedly. Absolutely. So the next episode could be dating. Dating. And how do we get past the first initial conversation and date? Ooh, that's an interesting one. Ooh. Ooh fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <whatever. laughs> So we'll end it at that, and we'll see you next time. Bye.